broke folks well two days ago I was on my bike I crossed a bridge over there there's a bridge just around the corner there I came back down from Bleeden just two days ago went over the motorway and there's a path a lane a road a small one that hugs the side of the Crook's Pig and goes through those past those farms there and all the way to Winscombe and I cycled that just two days ago, not yesterday, the day before. I was on a seven hour cycle and I was looking at, I stopped and took pictures of this side. So it, it would be nice in theory to have got all my videos put together that for this week. But like I said, I am so behind. There's a herd of bullocks and there blows black bullocks. I've heard lots of rumors that they're a bit frisky and they're a bit... They look all right. They look happy if you leave them alone, isn't it? It depends if there's those German ones. <laughs> right, there's the beautiful wood, and somewhere close by now will be the tower that I was in earlier. We're coming up to the little old barn converted into a cottage. You can just see the top of it now. I've taken some pictures of it. I'm heading, I'll be heading up through those woods. Um, eventually, not yet. Um, it may, might be from a different direction, it might be over there, for example. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to do, um, Christon area today because I think that's overdoing it, and then I'll be, I'll find it hard doing because I'm going to explore a new route back into town today that I haven't done before. It's another bridle path that I discovered. Uh, near a drainage ditch, near um, Lockin and Hutton Moor. Um, yeah, apparently someone told me you can come out near the Walnut Pub, which isn't very far from where I can pick up a number seven bus. So if I did that, I think that would overdo it, but it's only like about one o'clock now. I've got, but I need several hours. It'll be three o'clock before I even get to Hutton, because I'm not rushing. The idea of this walk is to actually enjoy it. You know, walk nice and cosily. Nice, I've done all this before. It's all been done before. Yeah, it's all been done before. I'm more likely to run out of memory than anything now. But it's not, I mean, I've got this bit done, so... I forgot to keep the spare memory card. You know what, I rarely run out of memory. Very rare. But you can bet your life today, because I'm having a good video session with this beautiful wood and this beautiful walk. And I'm coming up to the oak trees in a minute. Um, I've got a little oak tree at home, which I've grown, which I'm looking after, and it, the acorn came off, the acorn came off a tree up here, an oak tree, so I want to go and say hello to its parents, I don't want the video to run out, it's um, those, those trees, I just take, I'll just do a bit of it. So those trees, one of those trees there is where the acorn came from. <sighs> you know. And uh it would be nice to be able to plant that little oak somewhere nice. Naturally, you know. <sighs> where it won't get vandalised, but you never know, they carve up the countryside so much now, you can't really tell. You can't really tell if, if you put a little oak along here whether someone would come along because they do tidy the hedges and just cut it down. Or a deer come along and eat it. <laughs> oh dear. Go, cool, it's a build up on the motorway. Look, it's going slow. Go slow on the motorway. 
could have been an accident, see? That'll back up all the way. It's still moving fast back there, and he didn't, which must, must have just happened. <sighs> yeah, I'll be going up in a minute. I'll be going up somewhere. <sighs> There's the um, the old model man's or woman's model that acts as a scarecrow there, look. Can you see it? It's got, I think it's got trousers on. They have dressed it. It's an old mannequin. I thought it was quite good. Really looks like a person as well. I don't think you can ever see the tower from... I, can, I think I can just about make it out, but I'm not sure if it's sort of just in there. It's very hard when you're up close to see it from this side. Yeah, I think it's the wood a bit further around where I'll be walking. That's a private area down there. Yeah, that's, oh, it's going really slow, going up towards Bristol. By the time I get there, it'll be cleared. Because they definitely speeded up those people. There's probably a bit of a joke, you know, leaving that bag there. I bet they had a bit of fun videoing people sitting seeing what they would do about that bag. I'm just curious. I'm bound to look. Now, it's these trees coming up. See these big, tall trees? If they're oaks, then my little acorn came from them. It might be a bit further yet. But I know there's some beautiful oaks up around here. And I've got one of their babies. And it survived out of about four that I took home. I gave Zara one and she forgot about it. I didn't realise that you had to like put them in the fridge and stuff. Coop, that's his, in, that's his ancestors there. His parents. There's the old mannequin there, look. See? Look. <laughs> oh, we've had such a good day. If for the camera, if I've run out of memory now, then I have done some long videos. Oh, it's speeding up again now, look. Just a blip, probably. Could have been roadworks. Yeah, speed it up again now. Over and out and take some photos. Right, this is the oaks that my little oak tree comes from. It's a family of oaks here. There's a, like a beech type tree there and some other type trees, but these are the oaks. And in there we've got a real old one. An old, old ancestor, look. Gone, but these are oaks. I reckon I've... I did zoom in on the leaves. Let me do it again. I've taken some photos up close. Yeah, oak tree. This is some. Um... This is the family of the little oak I've got. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the that's just the ancestors, if you like, of the that little oak that I'm looking after. It comes from the slot. The, the acorn was lying about. I took it home and it I forgot all about it and suddenly one day this little oak tree appeared. And it's a story of a little oak tree, really, and I'm trying to look after it. I'm petrified. <laughs> Once they get going, they're pretty good, though. They're strong old trees. Once they get... So this is its family. Look at the views it would have had. Or could have still, if I could get in there and plant it. Crook's Peak, down in the valley there. 
the Mendip Hills. So that is it. That's that's the family. That's where the oak comes from. And this little area here. Tall, tall oak.